If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MuleFactory.com. They're literally the cheapest place to buy coins on the internet. You'll have a 5 minute delivery time, 24 7 support, and also make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 for a 5% off. Welcome back to a brand new video and the next episode of SBC Battle. So me and Sander took a break last time, but in his previous episode, he got an absolutely mad pack and is absolutely smashing us right now in this series. So we need some hype on this video. Everyone in the comment section on this video and head over to Sander's video, drop a comment saying hashtag carrot comeback. We are on this comeback. Hopefully we can get a big pack form catch up with Sander in this series. So on this episode, we are starting the playing abroad score builder challenge because com for completing this, you get 5,000 coins and a rare players pack, which is a 50k pack. And today we will be doing Italy and France. So I'm going to do this off camera, get back with the squads, show you guys how much we paid and open up the packs. So I've actually completed both of these challenges now. It cost me a little bit under 18,000 coins. If we take a look at my squad here for Italy, I did actually require loyalty, but we can go over the players now. So we have Lecomte here in goal. The defenders, we have Hilbert, De Silva, Baisi and Taylor. In the middle, we have Clemens, Obadi, Bajon, Mota, Giovinco, and finally up top here, we have Zaza. So this team was more expensive, but we get that Jumbo Premium Pack, which is really nice, and 1,000 coins. So I will take that reward there. And the other one, France here, we get 3,000 coins and a rare gold pack back from this one. No loyalty on this team. I can go through the plays. We have Schmeichel in goal. The defenders are Corjo, Sacco, Kabul, and Torres. In the middle, we have Kabai, Kruti, Castillo, and Belushi. And up top, we have Ruben. And our other striker here is Soldado. So the prices on this team, pretty cheap. The more expensive cards were Schmeichel here and Sacco here. Probably just due to the 82 rated and being in the Premier League. But if we submit that there, we get 3,000 coins, a rare gold pack. So up to 72,000 coins. And we ended, well, we started this episode on 86k. So hopefully, we get at least 14,000 coins back. Or we get some mad pack luck and hopefully get a walkout or an inform card. So we're going to start with the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. We get 24 items in this one. So it's a lot of cards, a lot of cards to list up. Hopefully those cards can be worth a lot. And this pack has been opened. And as per usual, the standard pack luck. We get Hernandez here, 83 rated. He might go for a little bit actually. And other cards in the pack, we get Fonte. He goes for a little bit as well. Some consumable cards, contract cards, fitness. Right mid to right wing goes for a little bit. And the rest of the cards, like, we got two 83 rated cards. So I can't be too, like, disappointed with that. But to be honest, it still isn't a mad pack. Here we go. Rare gold pack. 12 gold, 12 rare. Please, can we get a walkout or an inform EA? Come on, EA. And, of course, it's, it's just the normal bog standard. Small flare. We get Davas here, 80 rated. My pack luck, like, it isn't that bad, but it just has nothing on Sanders' pack luck. And that is why we need that hashtag carrot comeback. So what I'm going to do, list up all of these cards, see how many coins we are when actually all of the cards have sold on. We've got 36 items. I'm just going to list this all up on the bid, see what they sell on for, and hopefully we can make a decent bit of profit. But as you can see, only actually 24 out of our 36 items did sell on first time. But as you can see, we're at 84,000 coins. Our main cards here, Nava sold at 1.2k. Hernandez here sold at 1.6 thousand coins. And the rest of them, LBL 1.2. Fonte was 1.2 again. And that was really about it, to be honest. And some of these cards did not sell on just because there's so many cards already at their minimum. So I might just discard Fry and discard Algrelar just because nobody was buying them because there were so many cards already at their minimum. And the rest of the cards were just badges and consumable cards. So to be honest, our packs were really bad. I'm going to list up the most of the rest of these cards. These should sell them by next episode, but we're going to end it off there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. My pack luck is just not very good. There's not much I can do about it, but hopefully we get a good pack later on in the series to redeem ourselves with that stuff. But that note, thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on my next video.